All right, so let's walk through this. This isn't actually a real automation. All this is is different nodes that are connected up to different features of the toolkit. Some of the most common ones you might think of is like, how do you transcribe a video? So here is an A8N node that will do just that. So we're calling a backend API. Again, we've deployed this code in this particular case to DigitalOcean and it's running here. But we're basically sending this particular endpoint, which does video transcriptions or audio transcriptions, a remote file. We're asking for the transcription. We're also asking for the SRT file. And if we test this endpoint, it's going to take this video here of me on the school games, and it's going to bring back that transcript. And it's also going to bring back that SRT file that you can use for captions. So this endpoint here will take that same video and it will actually put captions on that video for free. You can run that endpoint and you can see it responded back to us with a URL. I can take that and I can go ahead and play it. And you can see that it is already highlighting the active word and it has added the captions. This end point here will actually get us a thumbnail from any point in that video. We can define what second we want to pull that thumbnail from. If you test this endpoint, simply going to respond back with an image. And here you can see that image. In this module here, we have a endpoint that will combine two videos together. Here I've got that same school clip that's going to be combined into one. So over here on the original, you can see it was nine seconds. And over here it is 19. It just plays the same clip twice in this case. In this module here, we can actually make cuts into a video so we can take certain segments out of the video. That particular API call works really good with this one down here in the media section, which will detect silence in a video. And this endpoint here, we can detect silence that is longer than 0.1 seconds. It returns those specific moments in the video. And then you could simply cut those out with this endpoint here. You pass in those cuts here. This endpoint here will actually cut a single video into multiple parts. So we have that school clip. In this case, you can see that it returned two separate files, one for each of the clips that we requested. We can also trim video if you want to remove the beginning and the ending from a particular video. This endpoint here, we can actually crop videos from others. So here is a YouTube video in typical horizontal format. But if we were to run this endpoint, we can actually crop out a particular section and then also scale it for a vertical video on platforms like TikTok. And then we can take a look at the vertical video that it created from the horizontal video. We can also add a logo to a video. Here's that same clip of me on the school games and a link to a logo. You can go ahead and run that. And there you have the same video, but now with my logo on the bottom left, you can also create your own tweet pics. Here I've got a thumbnail that was created from the same school games video clip and a tweet pic. So we have this tweet pic that we generated and now we can overlay it onto this other video thumbnail. So there you can see we can overlay images on other images. You could also overlay a tweet pic on a video itself, just like this where we have the video and now the image overlaid. 